Hello and welcome everybody to this tutorial about how to create a clutch mechanism and simulate it using uh, SOLIDWORKS Motion. So, uh, clutch mechanism is basically a mechanical system that is used to link between a driving shaft like engine and motors and a receiver shaft that is maybe linked to, for example, wheels, helix, mandra, and so on. So we're gonna first begin by creating the chassis. Create new parts, a 3D representation. Okay. So we begin by sketch, face plane. And we're gonna draw a rectangle. Yes, my dimensions sixty and eighty. So we're also gonna add some fillet. Okay, maybe choose five, not so much. Five is good. We're gonna fit it every angle. Right, and then we're gonna go and create a center lines here, right in the middle. So it's gonna help us to put our circle right in the middle. This is gonna be a hole where the driving shaft gonna be housed. Uh, diameter ten. Okay, and also we're gonna create some other holes here. Um, dimensions like four, four diameter, and then we're gonna repeat this uh, circle four times in the corners of our rectangle. We're gonna need this center line and this center line we go in mirror entities we select our entity to reproduce and mirror about we're gonna choose this center line okay we're gonna need to create two more here so again mirror entities mirror about this one this time and entities to create these two circles. Okay. So now we're gonna leave sketch and begin to extrude. So exit sketch. Okay. Then we select it in the creation tree and we click extrude both base. It will make an extrusion of the form we I'm drawn in a sketch, so we're gonna use only five millimeters extrude. Okay, fine. That's the first piece of our chassis. We're gonna reproduce the same part to create a chassis that will hold our two shafts. So we go to the face plan, we select it, and we select a function called plane in reference geometry plane. So uh, this function create planes according to uh, already existing planes. So uh, this plane is parallel to the face plane. I want it in the other direction. I put flip here. And I put a distance of 30. And I click OK. And then we go to Mirror. Mirror face. Uh, we select the plane that we already created. And then we're going to go to Bodies. Bodies to Mirror. So uh, here is going to repeat and recreate a whole body 
according to the symmetrical plane we have chosen. So we select our body, which is the extrude. We click yes. So the body cannot be merged. So I unselect the merge solid. Okay. Our second part is created. We're gonna choose to hide the planes here. We click on hide show either and we unselect the view planes. Okay. Now we have these two holes that will hold our shafts. We need to link these two parts of the chassis by axes which are just sticks. So we go there, we click on the first uh, part, the face here, we choose sketch in the uh, floating menu, sketch. Okay, we're gonna go uh, in a normal view here, views, normal tool. There we can draw our entities of the sketch easily. We select circle, we go in one of these holes and we approach the center. The center point is gonna show itself. We click on it and we're gonna choose a radius that is uh, smaller than the already existing radius. Why is this? Uh, because I don't want the um, stick here to touch the other body so it will be independent. I'm gonna choose like 1.95 for example a little bit less than 2. Okay and uh, as I did for the previous one I'm gonna draw center lines one here and another one here okay now use mirror entities mirror about the first center line our circle and we select again the function mirror entities mirror about the horizontal one there these two circles okay now we have circles and we are able to create our, our linking sticks. I'm gonna exit sketch, use extrude. Okay, it's gonna extrude in the other direction. So I'm gonna reduce this um, dimension to 3, for example. And we're gonna use to extrude in the other direction to have the sticks linking the two parts. Uh, just to remind, I am not in the assembly mode. This is only a one part design. So all the parties I create are belonging to the same only one part. Okay. And then we choose the direction too, but we're gonna choose a more higher dimension to be able to come there. So choose 65 for example. Okay, the sticks must mm, arrive until the end of the other holes. And choose like 72. Right, this is good. Okay, that's right. Now our chassis is begin to take shape. So now we're gonna create a little edge. Uh, this is going to be the swinging axle of the uh, 
shift mode so we go on the surface we click on sketch and then we go normal to the face and create a little rectangle here at the left here you put 10 here about 12 the depth 6 and 9 high ok then we exit sketch and we extrude extrusion will be about 30 ok that's good click ok and then we're gonna create a hole it will be horizontal like we select this face and we go sketch normal and we're gonna create a hole like 5 diameters here is gonna be 5 divided to 2.5 ok and this one should be at medium distance so choose 4.5 ok for the depth also we choose only 4 that's right, you exit sketch and then we're gonna choose extruded cut and we choose a blind hole which will cut through all ok now the final step uh, is to create a good visual effect so we're gonna give some colors to our chassis we go on colors we uh, clear selections do not colorate the whole body here we choose um, select bodies we're gonna give colors by bodies we select uh, like a red color we select the first one but I'm gonna modify the color a little bit like this decrease the green effect ok I'm gonna give a color to the other part of the chassis also the same we select bodies and we clear selection select the other body now it's like green but with less red like this ok fine and now we're gonna give colors to the um, roads connecting roads the same and I select the four roads oops here, here here I'm gonna choose uh, like a white color but you are free to choose which color you like huh? white color like brilliant shiny that means ok it's a little bit like grey color and you're gonna save it's better to create a folder to join the all the uh, part search mechanism okay i'm gonna call the first part chassis 